did you run to? I ran to the gas station, locked myself in the bathroom. In the gas station, I made sure I grabbed my essentials, like hygiene, like hair, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. Grabbed uh, warm things that covered my entire being. And I went off on my way. I called the cops. I made sure that it was a silent type of thing. Right. And, um, did he get caught? Yes. He did? Mm -hmm. Did he go to jail? They told me they got him. They told you they got him? Mm -hmm. Huh. Huh. Okay. I'm sorry that that happened to you. How long ago did that happen? About a month ago. A month ago? And you don't know how long you was there for? No? Huh. And so, where are you sleeping at right now? I'm sleeping, um... I'm renting out a room. Okay, and so I, where are you, what are you doing for money? I'm working with my partner. Okay, that's the guy behind me? What are y'all doing? I come here for food and essentials that I need so that I don't have to pay for nothing. So you don't I have to what? You ask your mom for money? How much is the room to rent every week? Fifty. Fifty? And do y'all rent it together, or is it just you that rents it, that pays the rent? He rents it. So he's the one that rents it, and you he stay with him? <laughs> okay, how old is he? Because he said he did 17 years in the pen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how'd y'all meet each other? Waffle House. The Waffle House. <laughs> Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, and so, you didn't answer the question though, what are you doing for money right now? What am I doing for money? Have you had to like sell yourself or do anything like that? So just to let you know, right, on this channel, we hear, we hear a lot of things. We hear that all the time. Oh. It's nothing that really shocks us on this channel. And it's nothing that you should necessarily be ashamed of because, you know, hey, it's survival of the fittest out here. Um, so has that happened before? <laughs> no comment? <laughs> okay, I get it. I mean, again, uh, there's nothing to be necessarily ashamed about or anything like that. We just kind of want to understand what's really happening out here on the streets. So that's why we asked to give the raw kind of truth and everything else. Um, it's not to embarrass anybody or anything like that. So I do want to ask about that, right? So some people are going to ask, like, I guess the laughter is part of the, is that part of the mental illness? Yes, I okay. have mania. Okay, so that's what that is. Okay, wow. See, we learn we learn new stuff on this channel. And we see people out here on the streets, and we don't necessarily know what their story is. Um, if I asked your mom why you didn't live with her, what would she tell me? <laughs> What? Do you want to live with your mom? No. No? Why not? Because my mother, she is my goddess. She's your goddess? Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't you want to live with your goddess? So she can create more abundance for herself. 
do you think that if when she comes across this video on YouTube, do you think that she's going to want to come out here and come get you? Or do you think that she'll maybe be embarrassed if somebody that she knows sees that her daughter's on here? I don't feel that she would be embarrassed of you. No, I don't mean embarrassed of you. I mean embarrassed of the fact that she's the parent and she's allowing you to be out here homeless. And you're still, you say you've been homeless for two years. Um. No? I feel like the foundation will be strong enough for everything going on. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you repeat that, please? Foundation. The foundation wasn't strong enough for everything going on. You, you say the foundation of what? Um, I can't hear. Can you speak up just a little bit? You have beautiful hair, by the way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I guess we're just trying to figure out, because honestly, right, um, you're a young 18-year-old. You're a beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely gorgeous. You say what? <laughs> <laughs> These responses that you have, I'm sorry, they, they kind of, but um, but yeah, you're a beautiful girl, and so people are going to say, man, why is she out here? Why is she out here homeless? You know, and kind of, you know, messing around, you know, um, you know, living in a rooming house and stuff like that. Um, and so you say that your dad just picked up and moved away? Yeah. And so how does that make you feel? <laughs> Ooh, it makes me feel like I got God right next to me. If your dad were to happen to come across this video on YouTube, do you have any message for him or anything like that? <laughs> no. I mean, do you want him to reach out to you and... You know, anything like that? Yeah. You do want him to reach out to you? Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, well, listen, if anybody out there did want to reach out, help or donate, um, do you have a way that they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? No. No? You don't have cash app? I have cash app. What's your cash app? <laughs> you said you have cash app, and you say you don't have cash app? Cash app is, like, more confusing because when I lost my card, mm -hmm. I couldn't get it on. Right, but did, can you just have it to where it's on your phone or whatever? Can I have it to where it's on my phone? Yeah, like, in other words, do you have a phone right now? No, because it's underneath my name, my email, my... Number, well, listen, just, just just shout it out just in case you can get back in it because it's probably going to be a lot of people that watch this video, and that way when they watch it, the Cash App is going to be up on the screen, and they can donate to you. Um, I recently just talked to an interviewee that was donated over $50,000 over the uh, course of the months since she's done the interview. Well, so I it, hope it, that I would have an opportunity.